are underprivileged and otherwise would not have an opportunity to secure it. He is a philanthropist who has served his local community in southern India and also served the Indian government. His connection with Andrews is that our College of Technology and Dr. Stephen Payne, who is serving the University in Recruitment and International Relations, have worked with Sri K.T. Vandaya and visited his college. And we expect there will be further working relationships between our institutions. Also, I understand that Mr. Vandaya has worked collaboratively with Adventist education in the country of India. And for these reasons, I wish to present the President's medallion, two hands reaching each other to help and a bridge the building connections between two institutions. We had four. They didn't leave. This is uh, Sri and Srimadhi Pandiyar with Dr. Melki Ponaya in Andrews University. That's enough? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's uh, recording. Now move. Okay. What are... He throws it together. Okay. Okay, Jenny, come and stand. Jenny, come, come and stand. Get, get a picture here. I don't know about me and my, this camera may have played out already. Get closer together. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if it worked this way. It's played out. Thank you. Yeah, you can stop it. 1991. Ooh. Yes. Do, do Actually, I graduated from here and from Loma Linda University. No, I don't see you. Yeah. And then I did some other postgraduate work at the University of Alberta in Canada. I'm a Canadian. Oh, really? Yes. So that's, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. But that whole idea of. Um, you know, really embedding stories and narrative and picking out the core of people before we can take them to the Okay, keep taking. Just keep looking at the camera. Here, I'm there. Yes. This is a... We began to renovate everything, all the eating areas, and it's not finished as you can see. There's construction over there, but these dining rooms have been finished, and the construction is going across, and in another month or so, everything will be finished. I told him <laughs> that you were there yesterday. Stephen was giving a, a portion of his lecture on uh, culture of America and the introduced Amish culture. Mm. Uh, then he's asking, can I go and see that culture? Yes. So now Mr. Stephen has to uh, find time to take him now. Uh, yeah, it done goes us to. So 
Switzerland or something. It's, it's very some, similar to that. Very similar. Yeah, yeah. And very beautiful. I have the impression that people from South India are very proud of yeah. <laughs> coming yeah. from the South. It's <laughs> like another country. Yes, they, they have people who have their own pride. Somehow, yes, it seems yes, that's that way. Quite but right. when I it's George a good observation. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because we have a heritage of our own. See, I didn't like know the that. People of Greece. <laughs> <laughs> and I think the, the the number of middle class. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, I don't know the specific figures yet, but I suspect the middle class in India is now larger than the United States. And they're well advanced economically. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Financially. Yes. Yeah. They're well off. Yeah. Yeah. That is the development in our country. Of yeah. course, as, as I used to say, it's not a developing country, but to a certain extent, it's a de developed yeah. country. Also. Yeah. 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 It has come to that. Yes. Yeah. It has come to that. Yeah. Because everybody, I mean, you can be proud of. Mm -hmm. You can be proud of. Yeah. So, and there is uh, also an oboist. Uh, the students that we have are from uh, different uh, uh, backgrounds. Uh, students from, uh, from America from the USA, students from South America, and uh, a student from Thailand. And they will be performing pieces from, from different uh, 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 parts of the uh, repertoire, instrumental as well as polka. And so I will let uh, them perform for you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
the building, I want to explain uh, one thing about American colleges and, and universities that is a little different from the way it was in Europe, even where I come from. And that is when they were established under 200 years ago, Andrews, 1874, the idea was that students who would come would not only leave as engineers and lawyers and teachers and doctors, but they would become men and women of culture, uh, of people of the spirit, uh, people who were a little different from other people. And this was stated very specifically uh, in the bulletin that we wanted to achieve that. And so you may wonder, what is a house like that doing on a campus that studies engineering and agriculture and English and history? Well, the reason is that deep in the heart of an American college is the concept that human beings should, should grow and, and be people of, thank you, thank you, people of, of culture. And that would be the human spirit and the human heart and aesthetics. And the music department plays a very big role in that. And that's why Andrews University uh, has a house like that, which is a world-class house, a musical performance. And why we play music, if you look at the little program that has been made for you, the, the composers come from Europe. I mean, uh, Dvořák, I think, is from a Czech person, is he not? And he came to this country and composed music. <coughs> about nine symphonies, and this first piece was from one of his symphonies. And I think the next two are Italian composers, and from the Romantic period. And then there are two, uh, two pieces from a French composer, Camille Saint-Saëns. Um, uh, and we want students to be exposed to that because it shapes uh, the human spirit into something which is genuine and fundamentally human with, with uh, a heart that reaches all the way up to heaven and out to fellow human beings. So during the school year, students and the community come in here and up there is a full orchestra. And on top, sometimes a full choir. And we perform music like that for the community. It's an integral part of American education. And when students come from abroad, we want them to experience that. The big public universities have lost it. Students study engineering and that's all they think about. But here they learn how to become human beings. In this house and in the church and of course in the classroom where they get their, their education. So, so that's why I wanted you to experience what it means to be a student at Andrews. It is to grow the heart and the soul into something that reaches up a high way. The ceiling here is 54 oh, feet, 54 feet tall, because music needs to go up, <laughs> and that's, that's why we have this building. And I'm going to ask Debbie Poole, who is the manager of the house, to tell you a little bit about what happens in here in a typical school year. Thank you. with the University Chorale, the University Singers, um, the Singing Men, and Cantabella, which is our ladies' chorus group. And they all perform here on stage. So our students get a chance to perform in ensembles as well. ...into his music a little bit, and it's probably different from Western music. One uh, important part of Western music, as you probably noticed, is that you need a place to perform it. You can't do it under the trees, and so this building was built specifically for the kind of music we heard here tonight. And it came about because a friend of the university, a well-to-do person, living in a nearby town, gave us a lot of money to build it. It's an expensive building to build. In some ways, it's almost an instrument of its own. 
you notice that they play and perform with the oboe, which is just a, a reed instrument, and no amplification is needed. The building is made for music. Uh, it is made so that when music is played and heard here, it's very pure. There are no distractions. Uh, I don't know how much interest you have in, in such buildings, but for Western music, this is really important. And so when all the musicians come here, <clears throat> and we sit in the audience, they play up here, you don't hear anything else, except the music comes out and surrounds us and takes us up. I want you to remember this about Andrews University. It's where we are lifted up. That's the key idea. Amen. Thank you very much, David. Yeah. அப்படின்னு <laughs> 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 ஜோடி <laughs> <laughs> Uh, very close to 27 28 are what 36 36 look at that <laughs> okay, our daughter got married the same day ayya ninga enna paathinga inda lookout mountain la irundhe solunga ah enna adha falls per enna solunga ruby falls ruby falls ah This is uh, Dr. Bob Smith, my great friend, president of uh, Review and Herald, with Paul Ratsara, Ratsara, Pastor Paul Ratsara, the president of South Africa Division. God bless you and your ministry. Okay, ready. This is Review and Herald booth. Dr. Bob Smith, the president, followed by Ms. Hepsi Singh, vice president of finance. meeting Mr. and Mrs. Vondayar from India. It was the father of Hepsi Singh who got the land from him and started a boarding school for Adventist Church in India. I'm so happy Dr. Bob Smith is holding the fort of Rivi and Hill. Blessings and power to you. This is Dr. Gordon Beats, the president of Southern Adventist University. we went to the university and uh, mr kt wonder is meeting the president we went to the university here in asi in the booth of uh, southern adventist university resources this is one day church this this church can be built in one day
This is Paris with the Mr. and Mrs. Wandeyar. We are so happy that Dr. Paris took special interest to invite Mr. and Mrs. Wandeyar. God bless you, Dr. Paris. Thank you for helping people of India with the health, healing and your service. Danny Sheldon, I'm so happy for your ministry. Thank you for spearheading the media ministry, starting a, a 3AB and television program for the World Church. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Wandeyar, coming to be with us in ASI. And you are in good hands of Danny Sheldon. God bless you in your work and service in India. Stand on our own legs, and we have certain to make us feel which we get should be should be substantiated in simple. We help each other for the benefit and for the utility of our country. Okay, keep holding, then I, I'll come and stop. This is Shri Kati Mondeyar and his wife Srimadi Mondeyar with us in Andrews University, just in front of the seminary uh, building of Andrews University. We are so glad for the visit. God bless them. Stay there, I'm coming. Ah. And uh, this, this experience here of Mastin on the right and left is just before. Right. Right. Christ's words to John as well as to all the disciples will continue. What do I want you to be? From this notion that you need to be whatever you are in the cabinet. That's not what I'm calling you to do. You know, he told them that he was going to Jerusalem to die, and they couldn't understand that until after it occurred. So they never really understood until after.